Today we have new testimony in the trial of former Mount Carmel Dr. William Husel. NBC4 Stan Perlman joining us now live from the Franklin County Courthouse. Uh, five witnesses, I think you said, testify today. Is that right? Yeah, Brad, that's absolutely right. And among those five, three are relatives of patients involved in this case. The jury also heard from another nurse who worked in the intensive care unit at Mount Carmel West. Yusuf Ebrow was the first to, to testify today discussing his involvement with Bonnie Austin, one of the patients part of this case. She was my first patient that I had on my own uh, that passed away. Ebrow's testimony coming the day after another former Mount Carmel West ICU nurse described William Husel's relationships with some of the male nurses there as a bromance. This from Ebrow. Would you describe the culture in the ICU as a positive one? Yes. Positive for and that ultimately help the patients yes and improve their care yes and as the day progressed we heard from the relatives of some of the patients joanne belisari's brother testified a short time ago beverly scherzinger's son before him and earlier in the day ryan hayes's sister he was my baby brother lisa hayes testified she didn't remember parts of her brother's time in the hospital before his death hayes died in 2017. earlier in this trial we heard from two other former mount carmel west nurses who testified they both separately gave hayes one thousand thousand micrograms of fentanyl and other drugs ordered by Husel about 20 minutes apart. Take a listen as Hayes responds to first the state and then the defense. Referring to the time frame, not when they took the tube out, but no. 23 minutes later, did you see anything in your mind that indicated that he needed, say, a thousand micrograms more of fentanyl? No. You don't have any medical training, experience, or expertise, correct? Correct. Now, testimony for the day is now over. The jury at this point has heard from 40 witnesses. Trial scheduled to resume on Monday. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Dan Perlman, NBC4.